in an expanding universe, it's good to be part of a galaxy. Some of the stars we see now could be beyond our view, you know, moved. Out of sight millions of years ago, still leaving their light to tell us where they were once. Stars of our galaxy, though, will always be with us. While those others leave and take their separate journeys, it's good to know that a few, at least, are going in the same empty direction. At the same rate as us. That's another thing. At least we have a direction. Riding on this hurling discus of a galaxy with our brother and sister stars in its incredibly futile journey. Some galaxies in the center have hardly moved, I bet. And just spin there wishing they could be more like us, the movers and shakers of the universe. Once, I thought it would be good to be created, just here on the spot, all at once, in a special and fixed place, non-vector for lack of motion and direction. A special place made by a loving God just for us. However, now I see it's a beautiful thing, our galaxy. And if it's God who caused it, I'm glad for the granted ability to move. And thankful for the boom for giving us our journey. Even though it's a pretty dark universe. Journey isn't completely dark, I guess. After all, we can see farther than we could once. And like I said before, there are other stars to accompany us on our move. Heaven knows where we're going. But it's not like we can stop and ask for directions. Or get off our speeding galaxy at the next stop like it was the metro train or a taxi cab saying, that's far enough for us, thank you. As it continues on its way without us. Kind of silly, if you think about it. Ending our journey as if it were a trip to Man's Chinese Theater or the Galaxy Theater next door. And we were Hollywood tourists. Or something. We could only get off once, of course. But who knows? There are different directions to explore. And maybe there's another moving galaxy willing to pick us up. As long as we're moving, that's the important thing, regardless of who takes us. Hell, I don't really care about the direction even. What's the saying? It's not the destination, but the journey, right? Yeah, that's what I think. Though for once, I kind of like it if we were in one of those less controlled galaxies. spiral crap too structured for a journey. I mean, as long as it's taking us nowhere in particular, why not, once we're in and headed in the right direction, let us pick our own spot in the galaxy. <laughs>